Hey everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I've actually been doing some work. Uh, working on the bug a little bit and got everything, all the flake finish being removed and everything. Got it sanded down, reprimed, uh, the high build, got it leveled back out. Uh, put my base on, which you can kind of see some striping. It don't matter. It's just to cover up everything because uh, it's going to be flake on top of that. But I forgot to readjust my spray gun with the volume that I was spraying, like the, the, the amount, because I had it set up for uh, the high build primer and uh, <clears throat> forgot to adjust it, the flow down, because it's uh, the flat black the hot rod flat black is way thinner so i sprayed a little too much in certain areas got some runs here got just a little more sand to do right there there was a few high built high spots there uh yeah we probably let's we'll see which way is going to be the best way for me to do this had a had a few runs there because you can see it here and here uh like i said that's about to be covered up with some uh some purple metal flake and uh gotta touch up a couple of spots here i've sanded gotta clean it and go back over it and for a lot of y'all who don't know the purple flake that i'm using uh this is it right here purple haze as you've seen in some of the videos stuff's stuff's pretty cool looking but uh yeah I'm, I'm not a painter i'm swinging this as a go learn by failure i guess is my motto <laughs> but yeah i've read some stuff watched a few videos i probably should have watched somebody spray some of this uh map or flat hot rod black or hot rod black yeah i think it's what it's called i'd have to look at the can and but uh but yeah there's a little stripe in there, you can see it, but looks at all that right there from from the uh, this point here down will be the purple flake like it was before. But, uh, but yeah, I am working on it and hang in there and I'll have some more updates on it here soon. Well, we're all taped up. I got my mask on. Uh, ready to throw some... Uh, Metal flake on it again. See what we can do. Wish me luck. And, uh, you know, we'll try to do this again and see how it turns out. I got that a little too tight, it looks like. Oh well, maybe it'll stay. Yeah. We got the, got the purple flake mixed up again. Uh, course, and here's a hello, everybody. <clears throat> we actually mixed some up the flake today. How does that look? Does it look awesome. Let's see if we can get it laid down right this time. Got plenty of clear to go over the top of it. <laughs> Maybe this time I won't sand into the into the flake hopefully this will turn out a whole lot better don't want to do this again we get it figured out one way or the other got two size flakes here got my flake from the paint huffer and then this is the micro purple haze so yeah I can't remember what size this one is here, but yeah, y'all have a good day. Woohoo! Get a little work done. Yeah, all right, folks, here we are. We, uh, Got it sprayed. 
Got uh, done something different this time. Instead of putting the flake in a carrier or a mid-coat carrier, I put it in the clear itself, sprayed it on probably about three three coats, I think is what I did. And uh, then I put uh, four, five coats of uh, clear. It laid down a lot smoother. So you can still see the ripple in it, but that's gonna be so much easier to uh, cut and buff than what it was before. Cause it was, it was bad, bad. I mean, it, I say it was bad, bad to me was bad but you know i'm sure guys out there who do this all the time seeing a whole lot worse but uh here she is i got glitter on her again glitter metal plate whatever you want to call it so used to dealing with my wife's glitter in the house but we'll call this flake out here since it's on the car but, uh, but yeah I'll have to cover it all all the black back up again when I start cutting and buffing this because I did make that mistake before and I didn't so I ended up having to re repaint this whole cowl section because uh, of the, uh, the stuff I was using the polishing compound I was using and it got everywhere but see this is a lot of it right here and pain in the keister to get back off there's a couple of spots I've got to work on here and there, touch up some stuff. But uh, you know, I'm not a I'm not a professional painter, so I don't expect professional results. But it turned out pretty good, I guess, for the second time. <laughs> Door jams. I now mean, I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna fix that since I tried ordering that whole section back there and uh well it never would come in so I'm back order back order back order and I went four months waiting for it and I finally said heck with it I may try to order it again here soon I don't know we'll just have to wait and see what the what what, what we can do with it but I thank everybody for hanging there watching with me and uh, keeping keeping up with it uh the uh wheels i need to pull off pull the tire to have the take have the tires broke down i want to clean them up either i'm gonna have them powder coated black a gloss black which i think it's gonna look good or that i'm gonna use what of the flat that i have oops sorry the flat that i have and then use some of the urethane clear that i have over that which would give me the same effect but i think the uh the uh, powder coat would probably gonna hold up a whole lot better. It just depends how much it's gonna be. But yeah, you can see, kind of got a somewhat of a reflection there, even with a uh, nothing being sanded or polished or buffed or cut and all that wonderful stuff. But uh, yeah, see about this. I got so many parts I got to order. Look at that right there. Wow. All right. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me. And uh, more updates to come. See you, bye. All righty. Here she is. Unwrapped. <clears throat> Still curing right now, though. Still got to do a cut and buff. But this laid down so much better this time when I done it. Before I used a carrier to spray the... Uh, flake on and uh it just didn't lay it didn't lay good at all so i done it in the clear coat this time and uh it just laid so 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 much better so much better i think it was about three coats of a uh, flake and about four to five coats of uh clear on top of that so but yeah we get to cut and buff but when i cut and buff i gotta make sure i cover up all the satin black because if i don't it ruins it so be aware of that if you ever do one of these and you're just a DIY person like me, you're going to buff the clear coat, cover up the flat. So have a good one. Thanks for watching.